Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium Sea series as well as the Moonrise Beach series. So today I am going to continue on with part two of my memory planner flip through for 2022. So as I mentioned in my first video, um, this is the second year that I have memory planned the whole entire year. It's been really nice to look back on these spreads and kind of reflect on what happened. I really love decorating all of these spreads throughout the year. It's just a nice self-care activity at the end of the week to kind of reflect on what you've done. And I just find that it's such a nice activity. Um, it's really nice to look up back on all these spreads with you guys. So um, I'm going to continue on with the last half of the year. So we are starting around July now and this is the last spread that I finished off with in the last video. If you guys are interested in seeing the first half, I will link the video up here. But I do also have all of these spreads filmed. So I have successfully did plan with me videos on all of these spreads including my monthlies. So if you guys want to see detailed plan with me's on um, these spreads and know where each of these stickers are from, I would suggest checking out those videos because I have already filmed them. So once again, this is the first week of July and here I have used the Sunday Brunch Kit. This is actually one of the first kits that I ever designed. I used Silver Hollow and Silver um, overlays and foil with this kit and I just thought it would turned out so so cute. I love all the pastel tones. So it's really pretty. So following that, I did use this kit. Um, this is from Paper Crown Planner, I believe. And um, I think this was the day of, yeah, my mom's birthday. So um, this is the kit that I decided to use. Um, her favorite color is like red and pink. So that is why I use this kit. I think it turned out beautifully. It's so delicate, very, very sweet. And I even have this washi tape here that says, um, happy birthday and it says may your wishes come true. Those washi tapes are from the Pink Room Co. Now let's move on to the next week. This week I used a kit from my shop and it's called Summer Story. So I love this artwork. It's so beautiful with all the watercolor florals and I just love the girl here. I think it turned out really nice, very summery. Um, I really like summer. So these summer kits really, you know, they're just like right up my alley. I love them. Um, and then I went back to Paper Crown Planner to use this kit. This one also is a summery kit, um, but it uses uh, more greens and yellows, which I thought was nice. You don't really see too many um, kits with this kind of colorway, so that's why I liked it and I picked it up. I used a lot of gold. I felt like gold matched with that spread a lot. Um, and then I went the total opposite and kind of went with silver, silver hollow, and even pink hollow with the spread here. This is the week of my release day. Um, I had released a book, The Real Thing, on this day. And actually, The Real Thing is the last book of my Moonrise Beach series. So actually, um, this kit that I use is appropriately called Moonrise Beach. I designed this kit uh, specifically to use during my release week. And I really love it. I love all the pastel tones. If you guys know, the covers of my books are all like um, really soft, really pastel. So I felt like this artwork really matched it. So I love how that turned out. After that, um, I have another one of my favorite spreads. This is using the Summer Picnic Kit for my shop. And again, this is one of the first kits that I ever designed. So um, I went with a yellow colorway with a little bit of greens and beige. Really love it. I definitely feel like I wanna use this kit again this year um, because it's one of my favorites. Such a pretty spread. Um, and then next up also, I used a kit from my shop. This is one of the floral collection kits. It's Geneva Floral, and I chose um, to pair it with Silver Hollow, Pink Hollow, and Silver once again. Um, I really felt like the Pink Hollow matched a lot of these um, colors that are in the spread. It turned out really, really nice. And this is actually the day that I reached 4K on YouTube, so that was really nice. Um, and then I have this kit, which is a very different kit that I designed. Um, it's called Farmer's Market. So it has lots of browns, really warm tones, a little bit of gray and beige. Um, I thought that this would be a nice alternative to the kind of summery kit. Um, I go to the Farmer's Market often 
especially during the warmer months so um, yeah it's different it has kind of like a more indie vibe to it but I really like the colors um, I also participated in the Made in Canada sale this week so it was really nice to um, participate in that collab sale then I went into using the Peaches and Cream kit for my shop. This one's really nice, really pastel. I love using rose gold mixed with peach. I think it looks really, really beautiful. So that is exactly what I've done with this spread here. So I've kind of brought out some more of the warmness of the spread with those colors. Um, and I really liked using these washi tapes from Simply Gilded too. These overlays, by the way, are from Rose Color Days. So um, I do have referral links to Simply Gilded and Rose Color Days if you guys are interested in them. And then also I forgot to mention that the inserts that I'm using are all from my shop. Also, they are the A5 Wide Vertical Weekly. So in case you guys weren't aware of that. Um, you can purchase them from my shop too. Next up I have here the beach house kit. So it has this beautiful scene here which is one of my all-time favorites. I just love how that came out in the spread. Um, and then this is also the first kit where you actually have two um, double box scenes. So you have like I said the beach house and then the interior of the beach house. So I thought that was kind of cool. I've never done that with another spread before. So yeah that was really really nice. Um, so this is the week that my dad and my sister went out of town. So um, I was on my own um, and I was feeling kind of anxious. Not because they left but because of other things that were happening so um, yeah that was kind of um, a rough week for me um, and then we're going into September now here so um, I'm starting um, with some of my fall kits here so one of my first fall kits that I started to use is the books and coffee one so I love this scene here as you guys can see you can see the fall leaves kind of falling down um, it kind of reminds me of New York which I miss I haven't been to New York in a while so um, the spread kind of reminds me of that time and you guys know I love books and coffee so this spread is right on my alley I love this overlay here with the kind of confetti bows again those are from rose color days and these headers here that I use these kind of overlays are actually from simply beautiful plans I really liked incorporating that in the spread too this is one of my floral kits from my shop. This is Indie Floral. So if you guys don't know, all of the floral kits in my shop are named after the main heroines of my book. So um, this is one of my heroines from the Glory MC series. So um, I incorporated a lot of warm tones. So you can see the gold, um, this kind of like pumpkin, orange color is really pretty. I really liked adding the lace elements. So you can see a lot of that. You guys really seem to love that about um, this kit and also the Devine floral kit. I, I added the lace in that as well. Um, this week was a really special week. I used a kit from Miss and Meow. And I used this kit because uh, my friend Lindsay from my crafty plans actually chose this kit and um, we did a collab together so it was my first plan with me collab with her so it's really nice to do that so this is how my spread turned out using the kit that she chose I thought it was really really pretty really soft um, it's more open than a lot of my other spreads but that's why I kind of like it so there we go um, and then this is the other um, floral kit that I designed with the lace. Um, this one is called Devine Floral. So this one is more cool tone, whereas you guys saw here, Indie Floral is more warm. So depending on what your kind of mood is or what your preference is, um, you, you have a lot to choose from. So I went with the Pink Hollow once again, and these washi tapes are from the Pink Room Co. And then I used these lace headers. These are from rose colored days. So now we're moving into October and I used the fall cabin kit. So um, I really like this double box here as you guys can see. It turned out really nice. Um, I used a lot of the scripts. These scripts are all from my shop. That is something that I started using this year and have consistently used throughout all of my spreads. So I like that. Just adds a little bit of interest to the spread. Um, and then this is actually the week of Thanksgiving. 
um, but it's also my dog's birthday so my dog's birthday was on the Friday and instead of going with a traditional Thanksgiving spread like I typically do um, I wanted to use this kit this kit is called woof um, and it's a dog themed kit and since it was my dog's birthday I really wanted to celebrate that so I did a dog theme birthday spread for him and I love how it turned out these colors are very unique you don't really see these colors kind of mixed together but I thought the artist did a wonderful job with it so that is why um, I decided to use this kit instead of a traditional Thanksgiving one it turned out really really nice I love it the following week was actually my birthday week, so my birthday fell on the Wednesday this week, and I used one of the birthday kits for my shop. This is Birthday Butterfly. I love the color lilac, and I love butterflies, so that is why I definitely wanted to use this kit on my birthday. Um, I think it turned out really nice. I do have a couple of birthday kits in my shop. This one really fit my style, so I went ahead and used that for my birthday, and I think it turned out really beautiful. I love using these um, overlays. Um, silver hollow is my favorite foil, so that's why I went ahead and used that this week. And then following that, I started to use a few Halloween kind of theme kits. This one is a witchy theme kit called Bad Witch. I know a lot of you guys really like this kit too because it has um, a little bit of black, kind of charcoal black, um, mauve tones, beige, and things like that. So I brought in these moon headers from Simply Gilded. And um, yeah, I really loved how this turned out. And then on the actual week of Halloween, I did use this kit, which is called Halloween Hour. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous watercolor artwork type of kit. I love the dark navy and the gray. I thought it was so unique when I saw this artwork that I definitely knew that I wanted to make a kit with this art. So um, I hope you guys also picked it up because it's a gorgeous kit. Like, look at the bottom washi. It's so, so pretty. I think it turned out so nice. So after Halloween, I kind of went back to my fall spread. So this is the first week of November. And again, this is one of my all-time favorite artworks. Um, it's called Harvest Delight from my shop. And I just love the colors of this kit with the olive, the grays. You have a little bit of this like mauve tone too. Turned out really nice. And you'll see I use this kit heavily to make other things in my shop because the artwork was just gorgeous, so yeah, I really, really loved it. Um, and then I started going into like the really dark and like rich colored fall spreads. This one is called Once Upon a Time. I feel like there are people who kind of stray away with these really dark kits because they think it's going to be too dark. But as you guys can see, if you put like white space in between um, and you use foil and get creative you can really make a beautiful spread so um, I really like how this one turned out and it's definitely one of my favorites because it is so rich in color so um, definitely check out that plan with me video it's definitely one of my faves and then a similar thing with this week I used a darker kit this one is called cozy fall and I brought in rose gold so I typically use rose gold or maybe even just gold um, during the fall season I just feel like the colors um, match that really well. Then I have this cafe theme kit. It, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's also a Harry Potter um, theme kit. It's called Wizard Cafe, also from my shop. So the full boxes have things like History of Magic, Magic Coffee, um, Welcome to the Wizardry Cafe, and things like that. So I really liked it. Um, I tend to use like these brownie tone or beige tone um, colored kits in the fall time. Um, I really like this color. So now we're moving into December, so we're almost done here. And for all of December, I use Christmas theme kits. So this is my um, Christmas floral kit called Rose Floral. So it has red and white roses, but the overall kit has like dark greens and grays and beiges. So it's really, really pretty. It has kind of like a modern approach to it, I feel like. So I incorporated these winter frost overlays and I've added um, these mandala stickers from Harriet Wright Designs. I kind of just cut them in half and added them in several places just to kind of decorate. So I like how that turned out. This is one of my all-time favorite spreads too. This is using the Christmas time kit from my shop. I love the colors. I think it turned out so nice. This red 
is such a pretty red. And I feel like with the blues and pinks and yellows, it really came together really nicely. Um, also, this kit is perfect if you celebrate Christmas, but perhaps live in a country where it doesn't necessarily snow because it doesn't have like snow elements. It's just kind of like a Christmas spread. So that is really nice. Love how versatile this kit is. And then this is actually the kit that I use for Christmas week. It's called Pink Christmas. I chose this one because um, I have these overlays from Rose Colored Days that have the pink hollow snowflakes on it. So I felt like it would look really, really stunning together paired with this kit. So that is why I decided to use that. And then on Christmas weekend, um, I did put the double box. So I like how that turned out. I have these custom um, characters. These are all from Teddy's Plans Co. and I've been using the Christmas ones a lot this month to celebrate. So you have the ones um, with the Santa hat too. And then for New Year's, I actually use this kit. This is from Simply Gilded. It was from the Advent box um, that I got. And this is actually my first time using a Simply Gilded kit. And I do like it. It's more open, as you guys can see. It, there's less going on in terms of layering because um, her kits are only four pages. So I incorporated a few of my own stickers, like the character stickers and stickers from my shop to fill out this spread. I think it turned out nice. Hopefully next year I can use more of her kits in my memory spreads. Um, I have a ton of them, so I would like to use them up. So that is my last spread of 2022. So like I said, all of these we're using the printable inserts from my shop. So if you guys are interested in these printables or any of the kits that I just showed you, feel free to use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. But that is everything that I have for 2022. And as you guys can see, it is pretty chunky. This is how I like to archive them. I have multiples of these A5 wide or Estelle planners. So um, I just archive the year in one of these and then if I ever want to use this cover again I just move the guts out put it in another planner that I'm not currently using and I can go ahead and enjoy this one again so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if you guys have any questions you can leave them down below and once again if you guys are interested in these stickers or printables from my shop you can go ahead and use the code save 10 to save 10% off of your order. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!